Today's video is a review of the Finder Form indoor exercise bike with a 35 pound flywheel available on their site for $499. While this bike resembles the Peloton in terms of its look as well as magnetic resistance system, it's a quarter of the price of Peloton's $1895 starting price tag. You can easily follow along to the Peloton workouts using their app, so if you want to save a bit of money, this may be a good option for you. I just wanted to quickly mention before we get further into this video that I do have a 5% off discount code for anything on their site. The code is Christina Marie 5 This is not the only Final Form product that I own. I do have their adjustable weight bench, so feel free to check out that video review if you're interested as well. Today's video will be broken down into the following topic areas. I'm first going to go over details on the product. I'm also going to do a Peloton comparison. I'm going to go over the assembly process and talk about my first and second impression. And lastly, I'm going to wrap up with my overall opinion on this product. This bike is made of a high grade reinforced steel. It has a net weight of 102 pounds and a gross weight of 116 pounds. Its dimensions are 43 inches in length, 20 inches in width, and 45 inches in height at the highest point. This bike has a 35 pound flywheel with a magnetic drive system with 10 resistance levels. The seat and handlebar positions are adjustable and suitable for riders 5'1 to 6'3. This bike is compatible with SPD cleats or sneakers as this bike features toe cages. This bike has an LCD digital monitor, including metrics such as the cadence or RPMs or rotations per minute, the time, distance, calories, and pulse. This bike has a large tablet holder with a non-slip surface. This bike has a matte black texture. There are two wheels on the front for easy transportation. There's a water bottle holder on the side. And this bike has a recommended weight capacity of 265 pounds. The estimated assembly time is 30 minutes for a single person. So how does the finer form bike compare with the Peloton? I currently have the original Peloton bike. I got it last year in January of 2020. Back then they just had this bike version and it retailed for $22.45. Currently this model retails for $18.95 on their site. So this is my current Peloton bike setup. In terms of its frame, it's quite similar, albeit there is no screen obviously on the final form bike, there is simply a tablet holder portion. The Peloton also has this plastic portion covering the magnets, which is actually really great because it shields the bike from any water damage, say if your water bottle were to leak, it will just simply slide over. The finer form bike has the water bottle holder on the side, so that's not really an issue. So I'm in the middle of a Peloton workout video with Cody Rigsby. We're currently on the arms portion, so I'm going to take a bit of a break as there is no pause button on this bike. So these are what the Peloton handlebars look like. As you can see, it has a similar structure to the finer form bike. This is how loud the Peloton bike sounds. Ignore the fan sound in the background. This is what the out of the saddle portion looks like on the Peloton bike. As you can see, just like the final form, it does not budge. I know lately Peloton has had a pretty bad rep in the news in terms of how they handled the recent treadmill recall. I did film a video on that if you're interested in checking it out. But in terms of their classes, I don't think they're going anywhere and they're here to stay. If you'd like to follow me on the Peloton app, my username is Christina Lacey. So this is what the package looks like when it arrives in the mail. It has a gross weight of 116 pounds and a net weight of 100 pounds. 
So I just finished unboxing everything and this is what all the components look like. I do love that all the tools you'll need are in this little handy pouch with a zipper top. So this is what the user manual looks like. Here is a diagram of the bike as well as all of the parts. The first step is to disassemble the supporting tubes which are attached in place to protect the bike during transportation. So these are what the two support beams look like. If you do need to return the bike for any reason, you do need to reassemble these pieces. So hold on to them if you're unsure. The next step is to attach the base portions. Now we're gonna use the four screws that we pulled out earlier and include the four washers. I'm lifting and placing the bike onto the front stabilizer. From there, I'm placing the screws and using the included wrench to tighten. I'm repeating this process with a back stabilizer as well. Now we're gonna install the pedals. They do have it labeled with stickers designating the right and left foot. So here I'm gonna start with the right side. To install the right pedal, you're gonna to wanna to turn it clockwise. And the left pedal, we're gonna turn counterclockwise. So since this is the left side, we're gonna turn it counterclockwise. And we're also gonna tighten it with the included wrench. Also included are SPD compatible cleats, which you would be attaching to your spin shoes if you wish to ride with spin shoes. The brand of pedals that are on this bike is from the brand Z-Ray. And they also have the instructions for installing the cleats onto your shoes if you do wish to use spin shoes. So this is what the SPD compatible cleat looks like. It is different than the Peloton Look Delta cleats. Next, we're gonna assemble the seat post right here. First, we're gonna place it into the plastic sleeve. You wanna make sure that this portion with the gap is facing towards the back, so the screw will have something to go through. Next, we're gonna assemble the seat along with the seat slider. So the first step is to slacken the pot pin right here. And here, I'm just adjusting the seat angle so it's parallel to the ground. Of course, you can adjust it to your liking. The seat will literally rotate either forwards or backwards. Next, we're gonna assemble the handlebar using these two screws and single washer. Now we're gonna install the digital monitor. First, I just removed the screws on the back of it and attached this metal portion right here. Next, we're gonna install this tablet holder. First, I'm removing the screw that was attached to the handlebar post. I'm inserting the tablet holder in and re-screwing it back with the included tool. The last step is to assemble this bottle holder. So this bottle holder will be affixed to this portion right here. We're first gonna start by removing the screws. As with most spin bikes, the resistance knob also serves as an emergency brake. So I'm in the middle of a 20 minute 2000s ride with Cody Rigsby on the Peloton app. And there's a few things I wanna mention just right off the bat. I do love this tablet holder. It's quite durable and I like the non-slip surface that it has on the front. It has plenty of room for my phone, my AirPods case, and the water bottle holder is just down below. As always, I'm using my water bottle from the brand Nyad. I also like the feature that we can pause workouts because we're not using the Peloton bike, we're just using the app which does have a pause button. And of course, the metrics on here are paused as well. So that's a great way to try to do a complete workout, especially if you find yourself getting interrupted multiple times. I do have two small kids, so that is a reality for myself. So you can't really control where like the center of your foot where you'll be putting all the pressure will land within the pedal. So I'm in the middle of a 30 minute ride with Cody Rigsby on the Peloton app. While this bike does have the option of you clipping in with SPD compatible cleats, for this ride I'm just wearing some sneakers. These sneakers are strictly for indoor use as you can see they haven't been worn out. So I would recommend to invest in a pair of indoor sneakers if you plan to regularly ride your bike. 
I've also done workouts on this bike just using sandals and it obviously doesn't give you as much support. Once again, this is how loud the bike sounds. It really is not loud at all as it is a magnetic resistance bike. Here I have the Peloton app in front of me. As you may know, there is no numerical way to gauge your resistance. You simply have this knob right here where you turn it to the right to increase the resistance. For example, if you're gonna do the out of the saddle portions or the standing up portions, obviously you want enough resistance to support you. Nowadays on Etsy or other online places, they do sell resistance gauges. For example, here's one I have for a previous bike that I have reviewed. This is what it looks like. It's a 3D printed device that you attach to your bike and as you increase or decrease the resistance using the knob, the number will increase or decrease. I do love the size of the tablet or phone holder right here. If you do have a tablet or an iPad, I would recommend to get the Peloton app on that and you can just have a bigger screen to kind of emulate a little bit more the Peloton experience. I also love the smooth matte texture of the handlebars. It does quite resemble the Peloton. So now I'm gonna go over my overall opinion on this bike. I think it's quite affordable at a quarter of the price of a Peloton. I think if you have the budget to splurge, the Peloton is a sound investment, but this bike is very comparable as well. Its magnetic resistance is quiet and smooth and very comparable to the Peloton. Realistically, if you're following along to a cycling workout class, you're likely not thinking whether your bike is a Peloton or not, you're just focused on the workout. It's easy to use once again with the Peloton app, and it's actually cheaper if you don't own the Peloton, you only have to pay $12.99 a month for the app. Lastly, I like that this bike has a small footprint, especially for being a piece of cardio equipment. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this bike. Do you think it's worth it for the price or would you prefer to purchase the Peloton? I'm also curious, what's your preferred form of cardio? And lastly, I wanna mention one more time, the 5% off discount code for anything on their site, excluding their adjustable weight dumbbells.